Hello, this Fern presentation discusses the care of emergency department patients with dizziness and vertigo with the goal of providing optimal diagnosis and treatment to exclude and treat serious central etiologies. My name is Edward Sloan. I'm an emergency physician in Chicago. I've served as the Fern president and board chair for over 30 years. I have no financial conflicts. I encourage you to go to our Fern.org website and our YouTube channel for more content related to the optimal care of the patient with dizziness and vertigo. And please follow us on social media for more real-time information on the care of all patients with neurological illnesses, injuries, and emergencies, Fern.org. So we're going to talk now about some case report or case studies in patients with dizziness and vertigo. These three cases are representative. The first is a dizziness case of a 44-year-old dizzy male, and it's sign out time. The emergency physician says to you, look, just check the CT if it's okay. The patient can go home with meclizine. It's a 44-year-old male with a history of hypertension and diabetes, not out of control. Six hours of continuous dizziness. He's unsteady. He says, I feel like I'm drunk. He has normal vital signs. He's got a little left beating nystagmus with gaze and perhaps a little preferential left gaze. And the provider says to you, look, if the CT is okay, he can go home with meclizine. I've given him a benzodiazepine and he's feeling better. The second representative case is a lightheaded 70-year-old female. Lightheadedness for five days. Worse with getting out of bed. It sounds a little orthostatic. The dizziness does seem to wake her out of her sleep a bit. She's on hypertension and cholesterol meds with good control. Her vitals are okay. She has a normal neuro exam and no nystagmus. The question is, should a CT be ordered on this patient and why? The last case of dizziness is a syncopal 58-year-old. This is a male with diabetes. He's had nausea and vomiting three times. He reported syncope, but uh, he had such bad vertigo, he had to lower himself uh, to the ground. Uh, it began three hours previously, somewhat suddenly, and he has nystagmus to the right, higher amplitude with gaze to the right. Um, his hit test is positive. His skew is negative. He's mildly unsteady with okay gait. And the question is, should the stroke team be called for this patient? We'll discuss these cases further. And in reviewing this and other Fern videos, please, with comments and questions, get a hold of us at fern.org at gmail.com. Thank you very much for your time. Have a good day.